Okay, we put a couple gallons of gas in here. Let's see what we got over here. Where's the pet cock at? Oh, that is a nice, nasty looking pet cock. Oh, it rotated. That's a big plus. It's not leaking yet. That's a good sign. It's not pouring out of the carburetor yet either. What's the gas? It's not going to flood? Is there any, any gas coming out of it though? That's the question. Pissing gas. Wasting gas. There we go. It's a good thing I had the drain pan down there, see? Yeah, no wasting gas. Oh, a bit. Yep, look, I got some gas in the ground. That's brand new gas. There you go, that's buck work. Okay, so at least we know it overflows. Oh, there's the puke hose right there. I was shocked it didn't float over, so yeah, it flooded. Okay, so I'm gonna steer your rubber. Stuba jobber. Had one out somewhere. Oh, there it is. Dumbass, right next to me. Okay. So let's see where we're at right now. We're half a turn, one turn. One and a half turn. That's about right, I guess. Okay. Ah! Choke it on. Still no fuel on it yet. I doubt if the accelerator pump works. Let's find out. The accelerator pump's not moving. See, it's that arm right there. Not moving. Yep. See, it doesn't move. If it doesn't move, you have no accelerator pump. So is it turned off? It ain't turned off because it screws way out. So, like most things, it's stuck probably. I'm push on it to free it up. It don't want to move. She's not moving, boss. So there's a boot here. You take the boot off. The fluid can go down there and free that up, but. Problem is, you probably destroyed the boot doing that. So we don't care about our pumps. Okay, we don't know if there's any fuel on this motor yet. So you just hold your hand over and hit the starter button and see what happens. And it should flood fuel because as you block off this here, the only air entry is through the either through the choke or through the main jet, which means it sucks a lot of fuel in it real quick. So we're gonna try to suck some fuel in here. Let's see what happens here. Just sell the way a little bit so we don't get hit. And I jump back on fire. It's got fuel in it. We tried to start already. It's a good sign. Alright, let's try that again. Smoking. What's smoking? It was smoking. You know, smoke. Talking other one, Appears to be a little lean. Let me give us some more. A little extra choke, a little bit extra uh, idle mixture screw. And, and a loose, loose handlebars. You go back and forth. That way you can, that way you can, you know, you know like one of those little things.
I was manually choking my hand. So let's see if the uh, carburetor is going to start flooding over again. Yep. She's a flooding again. Yep, see, got a lot of gas coming out. So I'm guessing the float is stuck. The float needle is stuck in the carburetor. I'm going to take the carburetor apart to fix that problem. It doesn't act like the, the uh, choke is working either because it's not as lean. But there's no smoke. See, that's, that's nice. There's no smoke. See, it's not getting smoky behind us. So we'll run a little bit and see how it smokes out the other side here. Oh, the Benix popped out. Good.
on gas. Sounds good. I don't think it has a real big cam in it, but it's got a cam in it. Yeah, it runs good. The exert pump doesn't work and you know, a few other little issues, but I'll have to take the carburetor off and clean it up and yeah, fix the accelerator pump. Quit flooding over, obviously. Got some fuel going through it, cleans things out. It had some rotten fuel when we first started, but it cleaned out pretty quickly. So the residue in a tank will contaminate the new fuel when you put it in it. So, it won't take the throttle real high because the uh, starter pump doesn't work at all. But on that, it runs good. Idles good. Starts up fairly good. I can't attempt to ride it until I fix the brakes. I gotta have at least one brake working. Right now, none of them are working, so. I'll put some brake fluid in it and see if it'll, uh, it'll pump up and work and go from there. But yeah, it runs good. The old level came right up instantly. So it's full tank of oil. That's why you don't put oil on a bike that's been sitting for a long time because the oil's in the crank. When you start it up, it comes out. It can't no smoke at all ever. That's good. So even though the plugs look like they either burn oil a little bit or something, it's there's no evidence of oil burning. It's clean as a whistle. No smoky at all. So I'm thinking of the carburetion just off. So. Probably it's a little rich and stuff like that. Who knows? Maybe just idles a lot. I don't know. But uh, anyway, there you go. That's a nice little bike. We'll do a little more work on it, and then we'll can go out and ride a little bit and see how it, start, how it goes. Do my five-foot road, uh, road test. See if it'll spin a tire, which I'm sure it will, and see if the clutch works. All right, that's it for tonight on this one.